I'd like to call the meeting of the City Planning Commission to order. To start out with, uh, would our uh, Planning Director please call the roll? Sure, Mayor Vandersteen. Here. Alderperson Bourne. Here. Ryan Sazma. Here. Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones. Marilyn Montemeyer. Here. Dave Huffman. Here. And Don Svitan. Was that a here? Don, was that a here? Don Svitan. Okay, we have a quorum present. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, flag of the United States of America and, to the, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That was interesting with the time delay. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like a song where you have different thing choruses starting at different times. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I think we, we mentioned all the people who were here uh, that were on the committee, uh, our staff. If you'd like to introduce yourself, Steve. Steve Soklowski from the Planning Department. Uh, Ryan Sazma from uh, the Department of Public Works. Dave Hoffman, citizen member. And Mike Vandersteen, mayor. Online. Marilyn Montemayor, citizen representative. Alderman Jim Boren uh, from the 10th District Avenue, Alderman on the Plan Commission. Well, welcome everybody. Um, does anyone have any potential conflict of interest with the items on the agenda? Only respond if you do. No. Seeing none, we'll move on. The next item is to approve the minutes from the Planning Commission meetings on March 24th. Make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes from that meeting? Seeing none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is passed. Now we'll go on to items for discussion and possible action. The first item is item 3.1, which is a conditional use and variance application by C&E Construction to construct a new parking lot at 1503 South 9th Street. First of all, we'll turn it over to Steve for a review of the project. All right, thanks, Mayor. Um, and Charlie Wig is on the line from C&E Construction, and what we're talking about is a uh, new parking lot proposal at uh, 1503 South 9th Street, where CNE Construction is. Um, you can see on the first drawing of the site plan what the existing site used to look like. It's a two-story facility that CNE presently is in. Um, there was an existing residence that was at 827 Clara Avenue. So you can see where that residence was, had a garage. Um, the property was- uh, Excuse me, Mayor, but I lost Steve's voice. Sorry about that, I'll speak get more into the microphone. So what you what uh CNE construction had the ability to do I did also. Yeah, I hear nothing. Can you hear me now? <laughs> That's funny. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, anybody hear me? Still nothing. Yep, nothing. Unmuted. How about now? Any luck now? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I can hear you now. Thank you, IT team. Yes, thank you, you guys. So uh, again, the, the first drawing that I have up is the uh, site plan drawing that shows the existing two-story building and the former residence that was located at 827 Clara Avenue. It was an older dwelling 
and it was a little bit dilapidated. It came for sale, and basically because it was directly east of CNE construction, uh, Mr. Wig decided to purchase that property, and they have uh, since raised the existing uh, single family. And you can kind of see um, what they're proposing in terms of they want to use that lot for a parking lot. And that's what they're in here for today. They have some equipment, construction equipment that they utilize. And that's where they're uh, planning on parking it. So you can see the area to be paved. And then in addition, they're looking at doing a little bit of uh, landscaping along Clara Avenue and installing a fence on the east side of the property um, so that the parking lot is You're screened. Gone I'm gone again. Unmuted. Are you, are you able to hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Now you're back. Okay. So so basically what um, C&E Construction did was they purchased that uh, home, raised it, and now are in the process of looking to have the plan commission approve a uh, parking lot proposal. Um, they, like I said, will be adding some landscaping along uh, Clara Avenue. Uh, presently, there's a wood fence there, but to soften that look and to still screen the parking lot, they want to include some landscaping there. And then along the east side of the property line, they're looking at installing a fence to minimize the impact on that neighbor. Um, they've uh, purchases, I'm not, Mr. Wade can indicate how long they've had this property, but they've done some improvements to the buildings over the year. The only, one of the questions staff had was just there's a front entrance that wasn't finished and was just wondering when that might take place. But other than that, staff was recommending approval of the project subject to the conditions you have before you. And I can answer any questions and the applicant is here as well. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, Mr. Wig, uh, would you like to add to Steve's uh, presentation and also answer the questions he posed? Uh, his presentation sounds good. Uh, the front entrance should be finished uh, this season. Uh, we had to get some electrical work with fire exit lighting um, installed before we could uh, reframe in the door system. And how long have you owned the property? Uh, about seven years. Very good. And any other things you'd like to tell us about the project? Uh, not really. Um, the house got taken down because uh, the tenant uh, torched the house. It, it turned down to the ground. So um, once we took it down and the excavator put the stone down, it, it made it real clear that it would be a great spot to alleviate the um, burden of parking on the street. Uh, we've got a a person that lives across the street that drives a school bus that's parked there often and there's there's lots of cars in the neighborhood it's a lot of two-family homes so they'll help uh, alleviate parking in the winter uh, mr wig we have a condition in the um, documents we're looking at that the parking lot would be paved by july 31st is that doable for you i hope so um we plan on continuing working uh not to use the virus as an excuse, but it has set things back a little bit. But I, I don't see a problem with getting it paved this season. That's my full intention. Okay. If there are any problems, just contact Steve. And, and uh, if, if we need to, we could look at uh, a slight delay. But hopefully uh, that your plans will come through uh, perfectly. Okay. Commissioners, do you have any questions on the project? I just Marilyn. have one comment. Go ahead, Marilyn. Um, thank you. Mr. Wig, I would say that the more attractive your building is, the better advertising it is for your business. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Marilyn. Alderperson uh, Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I would make a motion to approve the project subject to the conditions. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. One last call for any other discussion before we vote. Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Congratulations, Mr. Wig. Good luck with your project. Thank you. 
Uh, next, we'll go on to item 3.2, which is a site plan application by Hexion Incorporated to construct a new parking lot at Hexion Specialty Chemicals located at 2522 South 24th Street. Turn it over to Steve for a review of the project. Okay. Is uh, Rajan, Roger Shrigardis? Online? Hi, Roger. This is Steve. Um, so what we're taking a look at is this is a site plan application by Hexion to construct a new parking lot. And um, the plan commission may recall that Hexion was in here, I believe it was approximately uh, January of 2019, to construct a new control room facility uh, for their uh, facility. And um, as part of that, they had uh, planned on doing some parking right directly east of the new construction of that control room station. Uh, as they progressed, it was decided by the project manager that they thought for a couple of reasons that, that, that they wouldn't proceed with that parking lot by the control room and they would switch and make a new parking lot um, kind of off of their access drive, a little bit south of their administrative building. And there are a couple of reasons for that. One reason was that uh, they would have a 24 car parking lot that uh, from their private drive that would be for their administrative building. And this expanded parking lot would be used to serve more plant employees as well as uh, customers. And then they also thought it was a better idea to have the parking lot away from the facility just in case there were any emergencies so that emergency vehicles wouldn't be blocked to the building through the parking lot and to utilize that space of the new parking lot, which is further from the facility as a meeting place should there be any concerns about leaked gases or things of that nature. Um, another uh, uh, paving project that's included in that in this was they have a, um, a couple of facilities that's a water cooling tower and a water pit and the new construction of the control room uh, necessitated the fact that they had to get a new access drive to those because now that building blocked how they previously got there. So you'll see on the site plan there's two orange lines. One's the parking on the bottom right hand and then to the left is where the foot, uh, forklift drive will be paved to access that uh, water cooling tower and water pit. So we've seen this before. Um, really, this is just a modification to the plan for that additional parking and forklift lift drive. So I was recommending approval of the project as proposed. Thank you very much for that report, Steve. Uh, Roger, would you like to add anything to Steve's uh, report? Nope, nope, not really. Steve pretty much described the, pro the project pretty well. So I've got no additional comments unless somebody else have any, has any questions. Okay, commissioners, do you have any questions on the project? If not, I'd entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve. Second. And we have a, a motion and support. The motion's on the floor. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you very much, Roger. And good luck with your project. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. We're looking at our next meeting. It'll be on May 12th. There's no other business to conduct, so I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes. We stand adjourned. Thank you very much for your time today. Thanks, everybody.